are ready and so are we. Hi everyone, with Eddie Olchett, Ray Ferraro in a moment, I'm Mike Emery. Tonight we bring you a matchup between two great teams. And as we approach game time, here's Eddie. Two teams that have two well-crafted game plans, but once the puck drops, anything can happen, Doc, as we've seen in the past. I believe the key to this game is who stays to their game plan will win this game. Opening face-off is just seconds away. We have just started the game. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Oh, and he is drilled. Well, there's no surprise there, Doc. We expected a physical game. The contest will be aggressive from start to finish. There's an early hit to set the tone. Looks ahead to start something. Passing one off now to Andrigetto. Seemed like a great opportunity. Boy, that puck was really humming off the stick. Unfortunately, it missed the net badly. Seeks the corner. Save! And we're happy to have Ray Ferraro with us as well. He is down near the ice. I don't think either team cares where the contribution comes from. You have teams that are so closely linked. A goal from an unexpected source could be the answer. Okay, Ray, keep listening down there. Good job on the draw. Continuing through neutral ice. Oh, how can they miss that pass? Odd man rush two on one. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Just under six minutes have been skated here in the first. We are deadlocked at zero. Solid, clean win. Moved along and in. From the outside, shoots, he scores! He's got a nose for the net, and especially scoring goals off the rebound. Hiller's clearly at a disadvantage. He makes the first stop, but he doesn't recover in time to get to the rebound. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Taken away! Drill! Oh, and he robbed him! Huge hit! Possession's gone! Thought he had 10 feet of clean ice. He only had five. There's the stop sign. Switzerland's in control as they travel up the wing. Oh, and he's hammered. Gets across, looks over his options. Got a piece of it with the glove. The Swiss move it ahead along the boards. Back in his defensive end to get it. The poke check worked. Latvia's got possession in the defensive zone. Not a free puck now. Gains the zone. Off a of body. Latvia's continuing to probe up the wing. And we get a penalty. The referee to the table, a player to the box. Blum's going to the box. A player hit the ice, and the call on them is tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. And so begins power play number one. Let's see if it's power play goal number one. Quick work on the faceoff. That one's deflected. Shoots one. Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. It's a power play. You can keep the puck to the outside, but at some point, you got to get the puck to the middle of the ice. That's what they do, and they're rewarded with a power play goal. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered, but there's obviously a hole, and the puck's behind him. A face-off win. Let's see what develops. Shoots. Oh, a save. Takes his pass from the goalie. Let's a shot go. Moving it to Gergensen's. 
into the attacking end. Big chance! Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. Shoots one. Taken over again. Around the 20th minute of this period. Cleared down the ice from the defensive side of the center red line. And let's check our rule books. Yes, it's icing. Been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. Big face-off win. Didn't get through. He gains the zone. Brings a shot. No time to react. Didn't need it. Save. A good stick there, so no complete pass. My, what a hit. Sometimes you just run out of real estate. Nowhere to go when you had to take the big hit. We have one period in the books. A pair of pucks entered the net in that period, both from the same set of sticks. It's 2-0. Programs for tonight's game are available on the concourse. Featuring complete player listings for both. One period played. A second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? Switzerland's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Looking to head man up the wing. Hammers one. That shot hit a man. Hatchets one. Latvia's in possession through the neutral zone. Pass through center ice. Takes a shot. Missed the net. You talk about a heavy, hard shot. Unfortunately, it just missed. Latvia is trying to work it hard along the boards. And that one pitchforked right back into the corner. And so there's an icing on this play. Over four minutes have transpired here in the second. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Defensive zone win. Trying to go to Gergensen's. Latvia is darting back in the defensive zone. Gets in, looks over his options here. Turns around back in his own end to try and get something better. Let's it go. Latvia is gating it back in their own zone. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. the pickup. Directing that one to Gergensen's. Pinpoint pass up that right wing. Latvia's in their own end, and they've got it. Good pass up that left wing, and he's got it. Pitching it to Gergensen's. On the outside, a shot. He's got it. Enormous collision. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Ripper! Score! They're back to within one! When you're an offensive player and you have that much time, you're allowed to take that big, heavy slap shot. Fortunately for the offensive team, they're rewarded with a big goal. His left just can't find the puck quick enough and beats him up over the glove side. Switzerland's gotten an important goal here. They call it the proximate goal. It gets you back to within one. And considering we're in the second period, that's a nice step. Latvia's organizing things back in the defensive zone. Snapping a pass to Bruner. He throws it there. Score! And this one is top. A surprise with the wrist shot. Get the goaltender in between. It's not how hard you shoot it, it's how quick you release it. And that was a quick release. He barely slowed this down. It deflected off of him into the net. The Swiss have even the game here. Still in the second period, anybody's game now. 
and they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Turn to shot on net. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. And so down it goes, and icing is called. Just under five minutes, still showing on the clock this period. The red light has flashed four times to a side. Puck is thrown to Andrighetto. Fires. That one's to him from his goaltender. The hit wins out. Out of his crease to take it. What'll he do with this? Chip down. Latvia's got it in the defensive zone. Great stick work prevents the pass from being complete. Flings it. He scores! Lipsburgs gave the goaltender no time to react with that quick snapshot. And so he's in good position here, but the shooter's known to be a real accurate shooter. He doesn't have much room, and he doesn't miss it. Latvia's has broken the tie late in the second period, setting the stage for a wonderful conclusion to this, and then a full third period ahead. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Pass up that right wing, and he's got it. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Let's it go. Goalie's one of the six guys on the ice. He can pass. He did that. We've played two periods here of a three-period game. The best part of the day is coming up. 40 minutes down, at least 20 minutes to go. What are your thoughts so far? The Swiss are lucky to still be in this game. They've been outplayed in a lot of areas, especially with the time of possession. But one lucky shift or one lucky bounce, they're right back in it. Cranks one. Missed the net. Oh, his shot had the goaltender beat off. He rifled it just wide of the net. Oh, did he ever get matched? I saw that play coming from a mile away. Bumped. Loses. Chip to Spiza. Pitching this one to Andrighetto. Fires. They score. And they've tied the game up. Top, the goaltender had no chance on that slap shot. Sometimes the puck just sounds hard when the shooter unloads it, Eddie. The goalie was in good position, but this whistled past him. He didn't even move. Just under three minutes skated here in the third. The winds have shifted yet again. This game is back in a tie. He scores! Shot was heavy and dangerous. Good thing it didn't hit anybody. All that he had left, Edzo, was to try and make an unbelievable glove save. The effort was there, the results not. Neutralized face off win. Scored by number 47, Lucas Assisted by number 13. And the puck taken over by Yossi. Drag between the blue lines. Hammer. They score! That's three unanswered goals. shot was really hard, Doc, but where he put it was more impressive to me. And so this has got to be a great shot because from my angle, there doesn't look like a lot of net. Even with the goaltender down, he seems to have most of it covered. Switzerland's ahead by a pair now, and that a strike early in the third period. And so the pressure is on. And that's a face-off win. Scored by number 13. He gets in. What'll he do? Check safe one there. Offside stops the clock. Oh, he'll pay for that. We go down to the benches. Here's Ray. Andrew Ghetto's the type of player who's not so selective with his shots. He gets it and shoots it. Eventually, it pays off. 
Yeah, that's good, Ray. I think he is a special player and is very fun to look at. And possession once again by Diaz. Making headway up the boards. Blocked away. Lafayette is up the wing, setting things up. Oh, look at this. They score. It's only a one goal game now. And so he looks like he's in pretty good positioning here, but he's not able to get his glove low enough to snap this one up. Latvia's deficit is now only one, and there's time remaining here in the third period to get it even. They've got the draw. And they are in. He won't avoid something for doing that. Whistle blown, play stopped. The referee will hand out a penalty. The Swiss are going to get a minor penalty here for goalie interference. Good call by the official. Goaltender had no chance to make a save. Anything you do once, you can do twice. Let's see if that applies to this particular power play. Clean win on the draw. That was a great job. Shot back down. More time off the clock. Gains the blue line. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? It's cleared back, and this forces a recoil. Shoots. A wonderful shot answered quickly. You don't get many better opportunities than that. Great save. Switzerland's got a minor penalty. It's two minutes for interference. Clearly an interference call not allowing the player to get involved in... The goalie has left. A skater is on. An extra one to try to get a key goal near the end. Nice face-off work. And possession reestablished by Diaz. It's an onside play. The net is empty. Four by six. Pass attempt to Gergensen. Forcing attention indeed. Score! It's another power play goal. The goaltender had no chance stopping that puck with the quick release. And so just because you're in the butterfly doesn't mean you can give in to the shooter. You still have to move. He looked like he thought he was in perfect shape to make the stop and didn't have to move. Bad guess. Latvia's goal has tied this game up. A fun ride to the finish for all of us now. They win the draw and will now set up an attack. Gains the zone. Oh, the pass just didn't work. Wonderful save. He was hovering right over him. A missed opportunity from this close in. Good job on the draw. Now it's directed to Nita Ryder. The net is dislodged, so play is stopped. I'm not so sure any of the coaches want this game to be played like it is, but there is no slowing the scoring down. There's been great goals, bad goals, and a few in between. Terrific breakup of the odd man rush. Chris shot. Let's it go. Score! about taking a wrist shot it's all about weight transfer transferring your weight from your back foot to your front foot when you're shooting that puck that's exactly what happened there Spruce passes flat right on the tape it's a butterfly with wings 
Latvia has gotten the lead here, breaking the tie in the third period. What a raucous ride to the finish we're going to have now. They've won the faceoff. Onside. Shot caught right over him and couldn't get it past. Not a lot of room to score from in that area. Great save. Let's it go. Puck covered, whistle blown. Leskis keeps his team in it. That's another odd man rush against, but he's equal to the task. A little under three minutes remaining. We had a tie game until just moments ago. It's a one goal contest. They won that face off. Can they clear it? Good pass, and he looks ahead from the right wing. Into the end of attack. And snap to Diaz. Not through. Nearing the last minute of play in a thoroughly entertaining game. Lugged along the line. Let's it go. That's a good solid hit. He'll feel that one. The coaches talked about those type of... Tremendous pressure, and he gets it back. 20 seconds. Moving. He shot him right down. Solid work by the offense. No! Dominance right now. Net empty. Score! And this one is off. what you call a layup in hockey. <laughs> Niederreiter's tied this game up late. Does he have another in him? Maybe now? Maybe overtime? And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Assisted by number 96, Got it at the point. Hammers it. Two sticks together. It goes to the offense. We had three periods of hockey action, and we come out flat even. Over the seniors account this month, and Baybay can get access to team press conferences. Practice for The Swiss have carried this game into overtime because of this scoring play. We'll be right back with OT in just a moment. Sudden death overtime has started. If no one scores here, we'll go to a shootout. <laughs> Terrific outlet pass. And he sends it to the net. Switzerland's working it along, along the boards. Puck free. Looking to Gergensen. Gets in. What'll he do? Two guys together. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Yossi's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. They won it. Now what can they do? Latvia's getting an attack ready in their own end. Passing one off now to Yossi. Picks it up back there. Latvia setting things up through the neutral zone. That puck comes to the biggest stick blade on the ice. And it's handled. 
And the possession taken by Blum. Goes back deep for it. Laffey is in possession and neutralized. Continues on back a little farther. Moving it to Gergensen. Last minute of play in the overtime. Some tired legs and lots of sweat, but we still don't have a winner. Gudlowski is able to step out and play it. Latvia is starting back in their own end. Muscled down to one knee. Fires! Gets to OT, it seems like the smallest thing can happen and then go wrong for a team. In this case tonight, it went right for one. The little extra plays that make all the difference. Solid performances all around in a terrific hockey game. We hope you liked it. We'll all look forward to next time. Good night from all of us.